Right now, we're from the Caribbean Hut on some Monday night. We all are nice enjoying some drinks and some fellowship. I got over here a crew from North Carolina. They them came through. They set themselves up down here in Tampa Bay, Florida, to make it big. So listen, they asked me to give them a little piece. You know what I'm saying? We do a little bit of open mic stuff every so often. They do a joint here on Tuesday nights for the Lyricist Lounge. I do it here on Sundays for Island Vibes. So a little piece of poetry. This is for all my brothers who don't realize they lost their way. All right? So it was his job and his mind to protect his fam. Pops ran up and his moms and pops just up and ran and for them the farewell on welfare wasn't in the government's plan so it was up to this young boy pushed to the position of man. Cause even on sunny days the storm could rain and mama now used crack rocks to ease the pain so we started selling rocks in vain to keep mama in supply. So no longer would she have to sell her body to niggas in the hood driving by. Only looking to find a good time would beat him and his younger brother for no more reason they would cry. When at night these guys would come and climb and cry between their mother's thighs with the hormones or cries of discomfort and would scream out why, why, why. You see those tears never wiped clean till after you turned 13 and while in those spots with niggas from the blocks learn how to make cream because with cream came esteem and with a check came respect and with respect came power so he said to himself this was his time, this was his hour and set out for the hundreds to devour whoever was in his way. Nowadays in the whip he had a banana clip and canyon For any brave soul in the residence window would climb He had a black rhino holler to Phil Tech 9 And doing crime in his mind was fine Pulled his first homicide just after he turned 9 Caught a dude that was pimping his mom that he shot him 5 times Saw the fear in his eyes Felt the power like Bishop and Juice And was known to checkmate fools on a daily basis Took care of a lot of witnesses so yeah he beat a lot of cases And he held down the block strong with the gun but find out when you live life by the gun, final judgment comes not only by the gavel, but by another nigga with a bigger one. Another one of God's children dying way too young, and if not dead, then locked up, still unable to raise our sons, and we need to raise our sons. Be a manly God so they can rise past the ignorance and poverty line of today's horizon. Start a new day by dawn's early light, cause every day is another battle in this world called life, and surrender is not an option, so it's a must that we fight to we are no longer products of our environment. And we can persevere in spite of it. And it starts. It starts as simple as teaching things as two wrongs don't make a right. Teaching not just the value of a dollar, but the value of a life. That we can be fathers, not just by sex partners, but by the partner of a wife. Faith, not in the almighty dollar, but in the almighty father instead. And know that we can't simply pray and expect salvation because faith without works is dead. Teach them to raise their heads. Keep them held high. How to walk like men, look people straight in the eye. How to humble their hearts and instill a sense of pride in teaching that life ain't easy, but still we got to try. And that's why we got to do all that we can if we ever hope to improve the position of man. Peace.